case I didn't make it clear last time, uh, the reason I could change out of the Inquisitor's pajamas is because I got DLC, which I've never had before. So that was fun. I really like that addition. Because it was weird to just be wearing pajamas all the time. If that makes sense. There's a million things to do. I'll do some of them eventually. Read. Thanks, Lady Montelier. Can't fight a god. Hey, buddy. Honored Inquisitor, Gotzi Sturhald. Did my part on the walls. Walls. Now I'm on this strange collection you've brought us. Don't know it's worth to the fight exactly, but it's good workmanship. Any ideas about the origins of these reliefs? To venture early. It's in the tool marks, the grain. That's hard dust mined from the Hundred Pillars, if I know anything. Oh, I suppose the scene is probably full of Tevinter robes, too. The Hundred Pillars? Damnedest things. Massive spires that aren't stone. It's like a mortar. Don't know more than that. Strong, though. Where did you learn your skills? Orzammar. Carved a few statues in my day. Oh, that's good. Before you ask, yes. I chose to leave. I carved a paragon who turned out to be a sodding madwoman. Bronca. Couldn't stand looking at it. The memory of a dwarf, right? Do you have insight into the stories these tiles are supposed to depict? Tell you what. You finish one, and I'll write it up. Who better, right? A good dwarven perspective. Another time. Best of, best of the vein, Inquisitor. Cool and thanks. Inquisition. That's us. I didn't go up here. Is there things up here? Gotta climb every ladder. There could always be things. Wow, there actually is this time. Oh, that's new. Sleep well? I have never done anything like that before. Do you regularly talk to people in dreams? No. Consider that one more rule you have effortlessly broken in your rise to power. I had no idea that the anchor would allow you to dream with such focus. It is truly remarkable. But I am reasonably certain we are awake now. And if you wish to discuss anything, I would enjoy talking. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. Tell me about the old ruins you explored. I found the ruin of Baran Dur, a lost to Vinter's city buried deep beneath the dead and barren wasteland. Volcanic ash had sealed it tight. In one dark moment, every living creature in the city seared and smothered. They were statues in the ashes, like a mold made to recall the lost. Tell me about the old memories you found in the Fade. I saw a savage human horde go marching toward the battlefront. They sang a soldier's hymn to keep formation. Primal music shook the ground. He's savage. Unwashed warriors carried harmonies no chantry choirs mastered. Hmm. Though their cause was all but hopeless, they sang songs that made the spirits weep. Tell me about a spirit you encountered. I met a friendly spirit who observed the dreams of village girls as love first blossomed in their adolescence. With subtlety, she steered them all to village boys with gentle hearts, who would return their love with gentle kindness. The matchmaker, so I called her. So I called her. That small village never knew its luck. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
I know where the war room is, but I don't want to go there yet. Uh, talk to my friends. I promised I would. Dorian! Brilliant, isn't it? One moment you're trying to restore order in a world gone mad. That should be enough for anyone to handle, yes? Then, out of nowhere, an archdemon appears and kicks you in the head. What? You thought this would be easy? No, I was just hoping you wouldn't crush our village like an anthill. Sorry about that. Archdemons like to crush, you know. Can't be helped. Am I speaking too quickly for you? You don't need to worry about me. I can keep up. Yes, I noticed that. Did you know? Certainly. If you were a slack-jawed yokel, you'd already be dead. I always assumed the elder one behind the Venatori was a magister. But this is something else completely. In Tevinter, they say the Chantry's tales of magisters starting the Blight are just that. Tales. But here we are. One of those very magisters. A dark spawn. Who does the Imperium say started the Blight? You know how it is. Not us. They say Darkspawn were always there. Magisters and the Blight aren't even related. Is that a surprise? No one wants to admit they shit the bed. But if Corypheus is one of the Magisters who entered the Black City and he's Darkspawn, what other explanation is there? We only know what Corypheus claims to be. True. He might be a convincing liar, or delusional, or insane. But how many delusional maniacs are going to have that knowledge? He broke open the Fade. I knew what I was taught couldn't be the whole truth, but I assumed there had to be a kernel of it, somewhere. But no, it was us all along. We destroyed the world. You didn't do anything. Those men did. A thousand years ago. True. Except that one of them is up and walking around right now. Not to mention I have idiot countrymen who would happily follow him down that path again. No one will thank me whatever happens. No one will thank you either. You know that, yes? Hmm. That attitude must be why they kicked you out of the Imperium. <laughs> they didn't kick me out? Well, only because they never got around to it. <laughs> Eventually, they might have. All I know is this. Corypheus needs to be stopped. Men like him ruined my homeland. I won't stand by and let him ruin the world. Oh, and... Congratulations on that whole leaving the Inquisition thing, by the way. Huh. Yeah, I do my best. Oops. I didn't mean to jump. You seem very interested in my opinions. Hmm. I'd like to ask you about Tevinter. Popular topic. Anything specific? Corypheus is a figure out of Tevinter history. He was a magister. Yes, but that was a different time. The Imperium's power was at its peak then. The Civil War had ended. The Magisterium was united, its armies scooping up bits of Thedas like candy. The Magisters who entered the Black City. It was a demonstration of how exceptional Tevinter had become. Well, but who were they? No one knows. There's no record of a magister named Corypheus. All this happened 1,400 years ago, before the Blight nearly wiped us out. There are no records. Today, people half believe it's all just a story. And that's what I believed. We have evidence the story is very much real. But not who Corypheus is, if he even remembers. There used to be families who claimed some of those magisters as their own. That stopped when the Chantry appeared. Then it was shameful. 
and the families distance themselves from the tale. Mm. All we know is that some men and women entered the Black City looking for the old gods. What did they find? According to Corypheus, nothing. And only he could tell us more. That's all I wanted to know. Fair enough. I should go. Naturally. Grand Enchanter Fiona. Greetings, Inquisitor. That is your title now, yes? I should thank you. The way things ended in Redcliffe, you could have demanded anything you wished. Yet you chose to make us equal partners. I was not expecting that. You rebelled for good reason. I knew you, of all people, would understand. <laughs> I've been a Grey Warden, Grand Enchanter, leader of a rebellion, and now I am none of those things. Odd where fate takes you, as you are no doubt well aware. You were... you were... You were once a Grey Warden. Mine is an unusual circumstance, Inquisitor. Normally one is part of the Order until death. But long ago I found myself stripped of what made me a Warden. They tried to reinitiate me, but nothing worked. Nor could they figure out how it happened. So I was sent to the Circle of Magi, the first Warden ever to be kicked out. <laughs> Quite the achievement. You sound happy about it. Becoming a Warden seemed like a dream when I was first conscripted. Towards the end, however, my brothers and sisters, they felt I had somehow cheated death. I was glad to leave. It also made me unique in the Circle. I had an opportunity to do more than I ever could as a Warden. You mean you began the Mage Rebellion? I pushed for our vote to free the Circles of Magi. But I cannot claim sole responsibility for what followed. Still, despite all the chaos, I would do it again. What happened had to happen. You're not still the Grand Enchanter then? Any claim I had to the title ended along with the Circles of Magi. Although some still call me by it. Me, for example. Perhaps the circles will one day be resurrected. If so, another will take the position. Until that time, I lead my fellow mages by default. I will do what I can for them. You believe they'll recreate the Circle of Magi after all this? It depends on who the next divine is and what she offers. We can't go back to the way things were, but endless warfare benefits no one. That is why I agreed to Justinia's conclave. There must be another solution. I've been meaning to ask, how exactly did the Venatori take control in Redcliffe? Mages constantly found their way to us while we were there. Stragglers, most of them strangers. I had no way of knowing some were actually to winter. They spread whispers, encouraged talk of an alliance, and we were desperate. I'm not proud of our choice, but we were certain Templars were coming. It could have ended far worse. I trust everything is well with the mages. We're mostly relieved. An alliance with the Inquisition offers security. Although, who knows for how long? Fair. I'll leave you to it. A book? Book full of words.
Greetings to you, Inquisitor. I am to serve as assistant to any research concerns. You'll find my skills are exceptional. I hope they prove useful. You're taking over the duties of Maneve? Yes. She said she was needed elsewhere and that I should serve the Inquisition to the best of my ability. What is she doing? I wasn't told. You were made tranquil? Yes, I am tranquil. It was necessary due to a willful nature that made wielding magic a dangerous endeavor. I remember that being a difficult time, but I cannot remember why. My skills are well used in my current position. How can you serve the Inquisition? I am to aid in the research of all creatures encountered in your efforts as leader of the Inquisition. What makes you particularly qualified? I remember being fond of animals. I don't remember why. What is your evaluation of how we're doing? Adequate. Based on the partial improvements to Skyhold. As you were? Yes, Inquisitor. Here is the request Harriet made. Are there any special instructions? No, I would have stated as much. Yes, of course. I'll be quick. Of course you will. You're a runner. You made a part of it. There's so many letters here. Oh, hey. Hey, Liliana. I'm sorry. So am I. The names of those we lost. You must blame me for this. What? Why? We all saw who attacked us. We know exactly who to blame. I keep wondering if I could have done something different. When the first of my lookouts went missing, I pulled the rest back, awaiting more information. If they'd stayed in the field, they could have bought us more time. I was afraid to lose my agents. And instead, we lost Haven. But... You look out for your people. That's a good thing. Is it? Yes. My people know their duty. They know the risks. They understand that the Inquisition may call upon them to give their lives. Our people aren't tools to be used and discarded. Your instincts were right. Their lives matter. Can we afford such sentimentality? What if Corypheus? We are better than Corypheus. Your open support for the mages likely earned you enemies. That's Our fine. agents will monitor the situation. I believe Even in you. Even most opposed can be identified. We may still turn this to our advantage. You're not planning assassinations, are you? I was planning to unleash Josephine on them. Ooh. She kills with kindness. That's good. Regardless, I applaud you for the courage to stand up for the mages. The Divine's death hit you hard. How have you been feeling? Oh, you are referring to my outburst in the Haven. I... I am much better now. Justinia was such a dear friend and there were so many things going wrong. Sometimes it's best to talk these things out. I was there when the hero Ferelden defeated the Archdemon. 
We won the day, and I thought the Maker smiled on me. When the Divine requested my help, I went to her. I owed her that much. I sacrificed so much to do the Maker's work. But now, Justinia is dead. I was angry. I felt betrayed. But I shouldn't have let my emotions get the better of me. I'm sorry. Uh, you... Don't apologize. You were grieving and upset. I understand. Thank you. Now, enough of this. Let us think more pleasant thoughts. All right. Anything I should know? I have agents stationed by the ruins of Haven, should Corypheus or his lackeys return. So far, nothing. And the breach has been quiet for some time. That is something, at least. Thank you. I'll leave you to your work. Ha! Wee! No fall damage to Haven. Er, Skyhold. There's apparently something here. Nope, it's gone. I guess we're fine. Let's see, who else out here? Bunch of people. Examine. Sarah. So, Inquisitor. It is Inquisitor now, right? Remember that war we talked about stopping? Full of little baddies I can stick with little arrows. That's not a friggin' archdemon, is it? Draste, what do I step in? Let me know what she says. I could use some clarification myself. It's swearing, not praying. She doesn't answer. Answer. Not like she's supposed to. I know what happened to you. Or what everyone here thinks happened. It seems... I don't know what it seems. I can't help you if you don't explain what's wrong exactly. It's got to be nonsense, doesn't it? What kind of screwed if it isn't? I mean, that Corypheid thing. A magister, right? Story is, he cracked the Golden City. But that's a hazy dream. If not, Seat of the Maker, real thing. A seat needs a book, so the Maker, real thing. Fairy stories about the start and end of the world, real things. It's too far, isn't it? I just want to plug the sky hole rubbish so I can go play. You joined to help the little people caught up in this. But do you believe or not? In Andraste? Of course. But you doubt what you're seeing and hearing? It can't be true, true. Even fanatics don't want to be this right. <laughs> Look, I have arrows. I can make this Corypheus believe in those. Good enough? Please be good enough. Keep calling it nonsense. That perspective will keep the Inquisition grounded. Oh, I can do that. Sure could use a few more people shouting no. We fight, the bad things go away, everyone calms down, and everything goes back to normal. A nice, well-paid normal. You're starting to not sound completely crazy. I know, scary, innit? <laughs> so bring them on. The first food. I'm starving. Episode done. Bye bye. See you next time. We'll do more stuff. Like, talk to people, probably. <laughs>